Well, it's a very good morning to you from the East Coast. So we're uh, actually near Kilnsey and we're uh, heading up to Spain Point for a camp. We're going to walk down the beach for a little way and then uh, come a little bit more inland and explore some of the bunkers. Should be nice. So it's the uh, 5th of February and it's an absolutely beautiful day. We have been up to Spain Point before to look at camping, but it was 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. So camping on the beach in that kind of wind is uh, not really feasible. So today's perfect conditions. It's uh, low winds, which is gusting about 12 mile an hour, which is uh, pretty much perfect. Uh, I got rich with me. So the walk is going to be three miles and that's uh, from basically the start of the nature reserve all the way down to the point and uh, that's what we're planning on camping right on the point. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. First time for a beach camp so yeah, should be good. Right, we'll see you on the way. Well, that's what you call a view. So we're not far from the lighthouse now. We're gonna take a bit of a break there. Well, as you can see, we're all pitched up. There's Rich indulging in one of his bad habits. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, about 20 past four and uh, we found an absolutely amazing spot right at the end of the spare point in the dunes. And as you can see, yeah, it don't get much better than that. So a nice walk here, we did four and a half miles all in all with a, a few diversions, took our time, enjoyed the nice, uh, the nice scenery, I love walking on the beach. So yes, now it's time to uh, just relax and uh, enjoy. So I brought me uh, my Lightwave G20 
Mountain Trek. As I've said before, not the latest tent. At about 2.2 .2 kilos, I think it is, without pegs. But uh, if you're pitching on the sand, you need some kind of either semi-geodesic or full geodesic tent due to the fact that uh, your pegging points aren't great. Um, I've got gigantic snow or sand pegs. And uh, yeah, they hold pretty well, to be honest. But obviously, like I say, the frame, the pole, <coughs> the pole configuration of the tent does help a lot. And uh, Rich is also in a semi-geodesic. His is uh, slightly better than mine, slightly more expensive. He's in his uh, Terra Nova Voyager Ultra. Once again, semi-geodesic, so pitched quite nice on the loose ground with the, uh, the sand and snow pegs. Class as a two man, but uh, I would dispute that and say it's a one and a half. You could probably squeeze two blue people in there if you had to, but it wouldn't be uh, what you would call comfy. Whereas on contrast, as you can see, I think I've shown you this before anyway. Yeah, yeah there's uh, loads of room in there. So, we're going to be cooking in a little while. And uh, then just relaxing and enjoying the views. So there's Richie enjoying his pot noodle. Sloppy pot noodle, put too much water in it. So yes, it's uh, what about Apple's five, Rich? Yeah, about that. And uh, we've got a bit of camp kitchen on the go. A bit dark. So I've got a a vegan meal. It's uh, Jackfruit red side curry. Um, it's okay. The uh, vegetarian chili is much better. But uh, I thought I'll give it a try. Everyone raves about how uh, good jackfruit is. And uh, yeah, it's not. So. <laughs> um, I've had the vegetarian chili before and it's real nice. Because um, I am tempted to go vegetarian now for uh, health reasons and ethical reasons, of course. So. Yes, but yeah, as you saw, an absolutely amazing sunset, and um, the colours were just beautiful. Sky was on fire. It's probably one of the uh, one of the best I've seen in a long time, if not ever. But, um, yeah, it was uh, it was a stunning sight. So I'm going to get these eaten and uh, the pots cleaned. And uh, then relax, and uh, yeah, Rich is all done. And then uh, just enjoy the night. I love the sound of the waves crashing. Well, a very good morning to you from the East Coast. It's a very cold night, very cold. But uh, I was toasty warm in my uh, e quilt. But yes, look at that. Absolutely stunning. And it looks like we were joined early hours by a fisherman. It was just down there. So yeah, it's 20 past 7 in the morning. And, uh, we're going to set up a little time lapse of the sunrise. And then we're going to get a little bit of breakfast. And then, uh, three or four mile walk back to the car.
right, so bit of camp kitchen on the go. Just a cup of tea this morning. Um, and then we'll head off. I'm gonna be cheeky and ask me one for a spot of breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, as you saw, stunning sunrise.